geneticist called Tim Spector, and he's found that human beings are genetically programmed to be lazy. That's just how we are. It's not that we're not motivated to exercise. We're made that way. His theory goes that it's a survival strategy from our ancestors, because when they weren't hunting or mating, they just kind of hang around and do nothing. They were conserving energy for when they needed it. And, get this, he reckons teenagers are particularly skilled at this survival strategy. Well, that makes perfect sense. They're not being lazy. In fact, none of us are being lazy. We're just genetically made that way. Well, it is a great excuse, but we need to exercise. So what are we going to do? I've spoken to Dr. John Buckley from Keele University, who believes he's got the answer. Typical student tradition, I am, of course, late. He's going to set up an experiment with his students to prove that exercise can be easy. All we have to do is up our daily activity levels. Getting off your backside and just being more active in day-to-day -day life. We just incorporate 10,000 steps into each day. That's about four miles. 10,000 steps sounds like a lot to me. You reckon it can be slotted into people's daily lives? Well, they used to do it 50 years ago. So why can't we do it now? And all we have to do is look at where we've taken those steps out. And, you know, the, the car journey on the Sunday to get the newspaper. You've got all day to read the newspaper, so what's an extra 15 or 20 minutes to go and get it and walk back again? Should I send an email across the office, or should, why don't I just deliver the mem memo by foot? And we added those up over the year. It all adds up, it all counts. It, yes, it will, yes, it does count. And you reckon by doing that, we're not going for a run, not getting up at 5 no. o'clock in the morning and running in the rain. No. Just by doing that, little differences... You can get your 10,000 steps yeah. in. Well, people used to do it, so right. why can't we do it? All right, well, I'd love to see what students do. The students will be put through a series of vigorous tests to determine their fitness and endurance levels. Anybody rockin'? Not perfection! Let me get some action from the back section! Body the least fit will be asked to do a minimum of 10,000 steps a day over the next month. We'll give them pedometers to make sure they do these steps and cameras to record video diaries. We'll then return in a month, retest them and see if they're any fitter. Feeling like it's pretty hard going at the moment. And I've been on for about eight minutes. I'm feeling really tired at the moment. I don't really do a lot of exercise, so I don't get this tired very often. I feel exhausted. Back of my legs are in. Heart's going quite quickly. If I go up another level, I might have a heart attack, yeah. Tell you what, not being funny, but if those students do stick to it, it'll be a miracle. But it was good today, some interesting stuff. And John kept on banging on about the 1950s. And I've been thinking about that. It's true, I never saw my granny in Lycra, which is a good thing. But this stuff about fitness back in the 50s, if you like, it wasn't a fad. It was just something you did in your day-to-day -day activities. I like that. It's interesting. And I want to know more. So maybe I should just talk to some people from the 50s and find out how did they do all this extra activity and are they any fitter now as a result? I'm going to find out. All the time, body as upright as possible. I've come to a local day centre for the over 60s to meet some pensioners who do Tai Chi. This is going to be a weird interview. What do I do? Follow us. Well, you say that. <laughs> Surprisingly difficult when you get here. Yes, it is. You must all be pretty fit. But did you exercise or go to a gym? No. When you were younger? No. How come you were fit then? Well, we didn't have technology. We had scrub floors. But were you unusual in doing that? Or was that that's what no. people did? Everybody done that. So you wouldn't need no. to go to the gym. Oh, hello. Tea's up. Look. Oh, I want a cup of tea. Was there an awareness of the need to exercise? Because I think we're under no, pressure. No, we never no. thought about it. Never thought about it. Really? Much. Everything we've done was exercise. I mean, you walked everywhere when you had children. You couldn't take a pram on a bus because the prams didn't fold up then, so they were big. So no matter where you went, you had to walk. And how far would you walk then? Oh, I walked miles. miles. We walked two miles to school in the winter and summer. We didn't have cars then. Your parents couldn't take you to school. So this whole kind of multi-million pound industry, the whole fitness in it, was just didn't exist. There was no, there were no training shoes, there were no gyms, there was none of that. Well, we went ballroom dancing. Dancing? Dancing, yes. What concerns me a bit is you know, my generation, and because we haven't had all that exercise built into our lives, do you think we'll struggle? Do you think our joints won't be as supple? Well, I don't think struggle. so, and I think you will struggle. Really? And your children. 
I don't think the generation coming up will be like us. Really? Yeah. They're a lazy nation. They don't want to do anything. We were fit children, we are fit our own kids. Yeah. But you won't be, and your children won't be. Right, well in that case, I wonder how those students are doing. Not done anything all day, so I might as well go down the pub. Have a few jars. <laughs> no, it's, it's not going that well. Uh, I've managed about eight and a half thousand steps today. Struggling a bit today, actually. I've only managed to do 5,000 steps. Uh, I've managed 9,704 today, <laughs> to give you the exact number. Yeah, still finding it difficult. When I'm walking between lectures, it just really kind of tops itself up, and I, I tend to do lots more, especially in the weekdays. It's not too difficult. It's like you walk here, you walk there, and before you know it, you've clocked up 5,000 and you're halfway there. Uh, I've just come in from shopping. What a, what a challenge! 15,000 steps I've done today. Um, what an excuse for shopping, girls. The steps kind of went up quite quickly, actually. I was quite surprised, but I'm pleased because it means that if I'm doing 10,000 steps a day, hopefully I'll see an improvement. Well, I'm back at Keele University a month after I set them off on their experiment. And having met and spoken to the Tai Chi group, I can kind of understand this theory that people's lives used to be more active and that's where they got their exercise. And so if you can take some extra steps every single day, it can make a difference. But in four weeks, I don't know, I've still got my doubts. OK, and stop. Here we go. OK, so, Louise, how are you feeling? Bit out of breath, yeah. obviously. Did you do your 10,000 steps? Yeah, I did, yeah. Do you feel any fitter? I feel a bit fitter. Yeah. Really? You yeah. can feel a difference? Yeah. And how did you fit it in with your life? We purposely started going for walks, like on a Sunday afternoon, yeah. and um, walking further from the car. OK, well, let's see if it was worth it. In four weeks, is there an improvement? In four weeks, yes. She's got a, a bit of improvement in fitness. She coped with the, the time. She stayed on the treadmill longer by about 30 seconds right. and all the way through she was telling me she was finding it easier. So measurable small improvements in just four weeks. Yeah. And it wasn't just Louise who improved. After only one month, here's the science bit, the students had increased their endurance fitness which showed a 3% reduction in the strain on their heart and lungs during moderate to vigorous exertion. If we all take 10,000 steps a day, over a year, the benefits would be huge. Our blood pressure and cholesterol levels would decrease, which would reduce our chances of obesity, heart disease and strokes, resulting in us living longer. Which, after all, is why we exercise. You know, when I set off on this journey, I'll be honest, I was looking for excuses. I wanted to find out that the gym is really bad for you. But of course, if you do it properly, it isn't. And then when I found out that we're genetically programmed to be lazy, I thought, well, that's it. But of course, we still need to exercise. But how mad are we? We worry about exercise so much, we support a billion pound industry. But the answer is so simple and right in front of us. Just be a bit more active in daily life, like people used to be. And I know 10,000 steps sounds like a lot, but you can build that into your daily routine. The students prove that. So, am I going to worry about exercise? Nah, not anymore. I'm going for a walk.